Hi everyone, I'm August. Thank you for being here. Today I want to show you guys a bloom transfer that you do in a wave pattern. Shelly Art has a couple of these on her channel and she's done ombre backgrounds and then had done the wave transfer over them. I did just a solid neutral gray background to start. Um, it's Triart Liquid. And the reason I use that is because it dries super quickly. So I painted the background of the canvas. By the time I had my bloom blown out on this board, the paint was already dry. I should mention that it's a good idea if you're doing this. Once you get your background color down and it's dry, put some varnish, a coat or two of varnish over it. That way, if you mess up your wave transfer, you can just wipe it right off. I didn't wait, so I was kind of stuck with what I was doing, uh, but I wanted to mention that. So when you're blowing out your bloom, there's a couple ways you could do it. You could do it the regular way, and, and that's you'll see how I did it, where you blow it out completely, came out nicely. And the other way is just blow into the center of that cell activator and kind of skim that around so that your cells are going to develop a little bit slower. You want to scoop that up before all of the cells develop and transfer it down to your canvas and that way they develop on the canvas and it gives them a really cool um, stretched out different look. Um, for the actual transfer, if you want to do it like Shelly, I'm, I'm going to show you what you're supposed to do. You've got, you've scooped up your bloom, it's on your palette knife. Something important when you're starting this, if you want it to go all the way across your canvas, start um letting that paint off before it even gets to the canvas because you're not going to be spinning these so where it lays to start that's where it's going to stay <clears throat> excuse me so if you want to do it like shelly you would go do start your wave you go up back down and then off so that's do your wave up back down and off let me show you how i did it on accident i meant to do the way i was supposed to do it I ended up coming in, I did a full loop-de-loop, -loop, and I don't know why, and then my paint ran out. So then I had to scoop some more paint up off of the board. I laid that down, and it did blend nicely. I was surprised. At that point, I was a little bit frustrated. Um, second issue I had is, is after I did that, I'm thinking, okay, cool, I kind of saved this wave. I run my palette knife over the canvas, and now there's like a, two white lines on the canvas. So I thought, all right, let's see if we can save this. I added some more white lines to it to try to give it like a, an abstract look. I actually like it, um, but that's why it's a good idea to varnish it so that if you don't like it, you can wipe it off. It's also a reminder that, you know, a lot of times with this art, we'll have this picture in our mind of how it's supposed to come out. And a lot of times it doesn't. Just keep pushing through to the end if you can because sometimes you're going to really end up liking the results. And that's kind of how it is with this one. I ended up really liking it in the end. When I was doing it, I was getting frustrated because it seemed like everything was going wrong. Um, and I think that was all I wanted to go over about this technique. Really fun to try. Uh, check out Shelly's video for that correct way to do that transfer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for being here, and I hope you have a great week.